If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, let T from R3 to R2 be the linear transformation such that T of E1 equals 1, 3, T of E2 equals 4, negative 7, and T of E3 equals negative 5, 4. First, find the standard matrix of T. Then, does T map R3 onto R2? And finally, is T a one-to-one -one transformation? A helpful fact to recall is the jth column of the standard matrix for T is given by T of E sub J. In fact, if A is the standard matrix, then A equals T of E sub 1, T of E sub 2, all the way to T of E sub N. So the images of these E, J vectors give us the columns of the standard matrix. So we were given that T of E1 is equal to 1, 3. Now E1 is the vector that has a 1 in the first position and 0 everywhere else. E2 is the vector that has a 1 in the second position and 0 everywhere else. And E3 is the vector that has a 1 in the third position and 0 everywhere else. And our theorem says that the standard matrix is just the matrix whose columns are 1, 3, 4, negative 7, and negative 5, 4. So out on to the next parts, we want to see if our transformation is 1 to 1 or on to. What this boils down to is row reducing and looking at where the pivots are. So we row reduce and we see that we have pivots in the first and second rows and the first and second columns, but not the third column. So every row has a pivot. So that means our transformation is onto. So T maps R3 onto R2. But column three doesn't have a pivot. So we could conclude that T is not one to one. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye bye.